Uh, my name is Bilpa Vasiliu. Uh, I would like to thank Mr. Kostadinos Kastanas for the invitation. Uh, it is an honor and a pleasure being here tonight. I am very excited to be here. So uh, in this section, uh, we're going to talk about my own story, how I became an affiliate marketing manager and uh, my journey through the last five years where I, uh, I do this uh, OGI business, I built this OGI business. So without further ado, uh, let's dive straight into it. So this is my story. But first of all, let's get to know each other. Uh, I am a Hellenic Army officer. I am a first lieutenant in the field artillery. Uh, I am 28 years of age. I come from Tsikala in Greece. I am currently single and I reside in Thessaloniki in Greece. As you can see, I've done many things in my military life. I have climbed some snowy mountains. I've rappelled, rappelled from... Uh, big towers, I have commanded batteries of hoppers in the Mar Eastern borders, uh, many, many things uh, all this time. Um, my early working years uh, is that I joined the Hellenic Army uh, on the 9th of September of 2010, attending the Hellenic Military Academy. I graduated as a second lieutenant on the summer of 2014, and I was promoted to first lieutenant at the summer of 2018. And after my graduation, my life was pretty great. You know, I had a car, I could pay my own bills, and I could be pretty much self-sufficient. And my career was just beginning, everything seemed uh, in order. However, I soon realized that something was wrong. Something didn't feel right. You know, although I loved my job, I did not like the working conditions, the many hours I should study or work at home, all this overtime. Uh, and the salary, the salary was pretty low for what I was doing. It was too low, sometimes lower than some of my subordinates. And that was really frustrating. I mean, really frustrating, you know. I, I was working in more hours, I had all the responsibilities, and I used to take none of the credit for it. Uh, you know, uh, as they said, uh, I am an army officer. I should take it, I should endure. I was meant to do that. But it, it didn't feel r r right. So, um, I, I met OGI at the, her first, uh, at her early stage, on the February of 2015, as OGI, as OGI discounts .com. Um, I was amazed by the perspective of creating a global community that serves not products, but discounts, returning 90% of its overall turnover to its members, the people who helped the project grow. So I saw a great opportunity, but I wanted to think about it. I had no experience after all. I was then invited to watch the second OGI Discounts Net conference, the Beyond Belief, on the 7th and 8th of uh, February of the 2015. And a couple of days later, I joined. I was very excited and I wanted to earn my first commissions. So I started, I went to my local bakery and voila, I had my first business referral. So uh, while I was starting to become an artillery army officer, I would also do my thing. I would go out. I would uh, uh, build my OGI business. I got my first downlines and I soon achieved the Zafire, the smallest personal rank of a leader. So after four months of amateur work and minimum effort by me, I took the microphone and I walked on the stage for the first time. Fun fact, uh, the, at the first time I was to go and present myself as a new Zafire, I had a car accident and I had to uh, get my, uh, to get, go and uh, talk to the, uh, to the audience the next week, but I was, I was fine, it was okay, <laughs> I was looking pretty smart, right? Although really nervous in the beginning, I soon felt pretty confident talking to the crowd. I was amazed. I had discovered a new identity for me, that of the public speaker. I knew that I wanted to feel that thrill again. And on the 4th of July, I was speaking for the first time in the next ONET conference, the Big Bang, taking credit for being a new Zephyr. It was the first time I was actually taking credit for something I worked hard for. It felt absolutely right. Felt that I was meant to do this. So I tried really hard and kept my title for three consecutive months. I was a Zephyr Plus now. That's me on the picture on the fourth event, on the Global Dream event. And then came the fall. 
As I started to succeed, I was speaking in public, I was earning money, my team started to grow. No, no, far from it. After I succeeded, I took the fall because I thought that I should now help my teammates grow, that I should teach them. If I could do it, they could, right? The truth was so different. I became lazy. I thought that this was all that I would take for me to create a great income. But I soon realized most of my team members left, leaving one by one. I was devastated. And while I had some earnings, I got disappointed and I decided that I should focus on my true identity, my job, the army. And I said on the other side. <laughs> on this point, I may get emotional. Uh, this, uh, these are the three most terrible years of absence in my life. Um, on the July of 2016, I got transferred right here uh, on our eastern borders in Evros. Uh, I was sent there to serve as a battery commander guarding our eastern borders. And uh, it was the first time I was many miles away from home. I was away from my team and I was really disappointed as my recent success would not last long. For almost three years, my whole life was work. 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 Just, just work. It was all about the army. My whole life was working for this army. I was in a state of paralysis. I did not want to go out. I did not want to go and meet with my friends. I did not want to exercise. Nothing. I gained weight. I was too tired. I felt all the time, all I was feeling was stress, stress and pain, physical and mental. And I was too tired to do anything. I lived a miserable life. I was safe, but in a great despair. And I kept tumbling down the hill. I felt depressed. Many people should know that this happens to many people nowadays. But uh, it, it was far more from over because uh, to make matters worse, uh, my commander kept putting me down, telling me that I am insufficient, yelling at me and calling me names. You've already felt this in your life. I'm, I'm sure of it. You felt, you found uh, some nasty boss that uh, it, it, it puts you down and calls you names. And he was never satisfied with my work. The anxiety became overbearing for me. And I was living to work, not working to live. And this soon had its nasty results on me. Because when you pressure someone, eventually he's going to pop. And that's what happened to me. Because I was trying my best, but it was never enough. The result was an inguinal hernia. I underwent the surgery and I tried to recover from all the suffering. I was totally broken. When my parents came to visit me, I put on a mask, I put on a fake smile. And I tried to be positive for them. I laughed, although in my heart, I knew I was a mess. So after these three long years of patience on the border, I could finally come to Thessaloniki, the place where my upline was and most of my team was, and that made my day. So I had, I had, my, uh, I, I had to regain my strength. And as I regained strength, I regained hope. I was... I was thinking that something good is happening at last. Far from it. Again, it was, it was really hard because even though my new workplace seems, seemed so promising at first, I soon realized it was going to get ugly again. I knew I had to work on my plan B and the time was now. But this time, a new challenge emerged. My coach, my uplines, everyone, they just quit. They just quit, you know, and, and in the same time, three members of my family and me as well, almost at the same time, got sick or showed serious health issues. And it, I, I was like, I, I was, it, it couldn't go any lower for me. So I had to make a choice. I, I should step up or I should give up. So I decided... Life doesn't get easier or more forgiven. As Steve Maraboli says in his life, the truth in being free book. Life doesn't get easier or more forgiven, but we get stronger and more resilient. So I chose to step up. If I had no upline, 
I will connect with my upline of, of with the upline of my upline. If I have no team, I will create one. And if I do not have a leader to guide me, I shall become this leader. And I made up my mind. I will grow from a soldier to leader, whatever the cost. And I'm coming back. So I catch up with my new appliance. There are a lot of things for me to catch up. I, I, I am I'm a bit lost. I'm a bit uh, confused, but I have uh, new products to study, new working methods to work, new ways of earning, new commissions, uh, new ways of achieving team ranks. It's Everything is completely upgraded and a far better system with my new appliance. So let's get it done. So in the February of 2020, I take a business trip to Athens and I finally meet up with my new coach, Mr. Thodoris Kutris. I make myself clear, I need to make it work now. And I'm so grateful for Mr. Kutris because he helped me get back on my feet again and keep moving forward. And the comeback begins. In May, I'm a Zafir again. And for the first time ever, my sale volume reaches, my sales volume reaches $3,000 in July and I achieve the supervisor team rank for the first time. And to my, uh, to my utmost <laughs> uh, enthusiasm, my first Zafires rise in my team. I have two new Zafires in my team. So I get back on stage again, being overwhelmed by emotion and I can barely say what I want to say. I am truly back. That's roughly what I said as a supervisor on the Ignite conference at the Athens College. I don't know if there is someone more emotional than me today in this college while wiping my nose because I was, I was partly crying. Like, I, I may, I'm like, okay, excuse me, I was crying for my news advice. I am Bill Papavasiliou, army officer. I am not a fast success story. I started in 2015, three years in the borders, I was waiting patiently, renewing my subscription, hoping, even though I was not taking action. In the summer of 2015, I committed myself to not getting up on stage again without any team members with me. Today, I have two of them up here together with me. Believe that you are worth something more. Please, please do believe it. The six inches between our ears can make a huge difference. So, becoming an affiliate marketing manager. Pumped by the event, excited about my success and driven by my passion to help others overcome obstacles like mine. I get down to true business. I work my ass off. I push myself. Not a single day goes by without me thinking about my business because I know what I am doing. For the first time I know how to do it. Because I want it so badly and I can teach it to others. After all, success comes to those who persevere it. And at the end of the same month, my sales volume reaches $7,000 and I become an affiliate marketing manager, earning more money than my day job. The aftermath, I am building myself now for this next step, the leader. Since I cannot leave the army yet, I have to be patient for another two mandatory years of service. But the thing is that now, at this time, I have the right mindset, the right tools, and the right support to change my life. And through my change, I will help hundreds, if not thousands of people, get out of their own well of despair and find their true passion, their true reason to live. Because as I used to say, be brave or soon be in a grave. So that was a brief moment uh, for me. It was, uh, uh, it was a long journey with many lessons learned. For this five, past five years, uh, I have uh, built myself. I have um, made uh, a huge difference in my life. And I'm so glad that my family and my brother and sister can now see that I'm being a completely different person. And that's all due to this OGI project. So, are you ready to take your life in your own hands 
and do, create something great, something special, and get to your maximum potential. That's all for me. Please enjoy the rest of this, of this amazing seminar. Good luck to you.